Hello, wonderful people of the internet. This is my Twitch stream, and that is a push-up counter. Essentially, every time I get an error, I add one to the counter and do them all at the top of the hour. Okay, I know what you're going to ask. Is... is that actually a good idea? Uh, no. No, it's not. But I did it anyway, and here's why. You know that feeling when your alarm goes off but you're not fully awake, so you decide to close your eyes for another second or two with the hopes of magically feeling fully rested when you open them back up again? In that moment, when you close your eyes, you completely lose track of time. When they open back up again, it could be anywhere from 10 seconds to 2 hours later. Honestly, that's how I've been feeling for the past 12 months, and I had no idea how to fix it until I managed to book a lane at my local pool. See, when swimming, I'm always racing against the clock. Here I am doing a 50 yard butterfly on a 45 second interval. Even though it only takes me roughly 30 seconds to get to the wall, I wait until the interval is up to go again. Now, pushing off that wall is hard. 15 seconds is not enough time to be fully rested, but that's the nature of interval training. It allows you to push your body further than normal by giving yourself a little bit of rest as a reward for swimming fast. Then I thought, why not just do this all the time? So for the next month, that's exactly what I did. Every working hour, I choose a specific task to complete within the next 60 minutes, and if I finish it early, I can rest a bit on YouTube, Twitter, or Reddit. The point is to pace myself, but also complete clear objectives, and in this way, I've actually been a bunch more productive. Still, starting every hour is hard, just like it's hard to push off the wall or get out of bed. But I found that 5 minute exercises at the top of every hour provide that kick of motivation that I need. So I did this for about a month. 5 minutes of exercise, a project, and rest every hour. And honestly, I started to feel much better. So much better that I actually wanted to stream again for the first time in a few months. At the same time, I wanted to keep my interval training up, so I came up with a push-up counter idea. My plan was to use the push-ups as my 5 minute exercise every hour. But here's where the story actually becomes somewhat interesting. See, as I was discussing my new interval lifestyle, the obvious question came up about how I choose what exercise comes next. Then Pink Emma in chat suggested that I use some sort of AI to do this. Now, we all kind of agreed that an AI might be just a little bit overkill, but then I remembered back to my supercomputing days. See, one common way to make sure that tasks are run efficiently on a cluster is through something known as priority scheduling. Here, each task is given a priority, and if multiple tasks are queued at the same time, the one with the highest priority is selected first. Now, the priority can be determined based on a number of factors like runtime, the funding of the project, what hardware the code needs, etc. Obviously, if we're scheduling 5 minute exercises every hour, we don't really need to think about the same things as supercomputers do. But the idea of providing each exercise with a priority is a good way to ensure that we get roughly a full body workout every day. So we created four exercise groups, legs, core, arms, and mobility. We then sorted all exercises we could think of into these groups. Crunches went in core, squats went in legs, dips went in arms, so on and so forth. To start the process, we give each exercise and each set of exercises a random priority before sorting them. Then we choose the exercise with the highest priority from the group with the highest priority before resetting both to zero and increasing the priorities of all exercises with a random number. This effectively allows us to cycle between all exercises with some small random variation. For example, if we chose squats as our exercise, the legs group would then be sent to the end of the queue, and squats in particular would then be sent to the end of the legs group. Now, the next exercise will almost certainly not work our legs, and the next time we choose a leg exercise, it will almost certainly not be squats. Okay, so to beta test the software, we did a workout on Twitch where chat was able to increase and decrease the difficulty of the next exercise, add push-ups, and shuffle all exercises if they wanted. Because the next exercises cycled between different muscle groups and were randomly initialized, no one knew what the next exercise would be until it was chosen. Honestly, it was the most fun workout I think I've ever had, and I will probably be doing it again on weekends in the future, so feel free to stop by if this sounds interesting to you. But that's about all there is to it. 5 minutes of exercise and 55 minutes of a combined project and rest every hour. The admittedly quite buggy code is available at swoleos.jl. Thanks Folster for the name. 
If people are interested, I'm happy to work with it and turn it into something more people could use, maybe even making an app or something like that. Right now it works by creating a superset of all different groups of exercises and then cycling through those exercises like so. Okay, so now as a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm not saying that the Swoleus workout program will end your depression. I'm also not saying that it's going to make you swole. All I'm saying is that interval training my life really helped me get back on track and start making things again. That said, I've always loved working out, so physical exercise is particularly motivating for me. I don't think the takeaway for this video should be that you, the viewer, should definitely be working out more. Rather, I think it should be that creating small but meaningful and achievable goals is a good way to start working towards wherever you want to go. Also, there's something to be said about doing something incredibly stupid, like a push-up counter, to find that initial burst of creativity. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like this content and want to see it continue in the future, please consider supporting me on either GitHub Sponsors or Patreon. Also, thanks to those who have already chosen to support me on Patreon, like Mossy and Valentine, and Valentine, don't worry, I'll probably be using some of your code in an upcoming video. Finally, let me know what you guys think about having more vlog-style videos like this one in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.